Hi, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And what we're going to look at in this video is how to create a Moodle book and how to use that to organize some of your content for your students. Now, there's a reason why I prefer to use the Moodle book as opposed to individual content pages, uh, HTML pages in Moodle. If you look at another course that I have set up, I have a lot of individual content pages and resources under one particular week here. It starts to get very cluttered and long and difficult for your students to navigate their way through everything. The Moodle book will keep that neat and tidy. So here's an example of one Moodle book that I have created for a group of students. You can see that the pages are all nice and organized here. And I will demonstrate how to set all these up and uh, to get them as sub chapters and chapters. You can navigate back and forth through the pages. And what's really nice about this for your students is that if you have a bunch of these pages grouped together as a book, a topic book for a particular week, they can download and print this entire Moodle book in one shot, as opposed to having to go to every single individual content page that you have under a particular week and print those one page at a time. So it makes it nice and easy for your students to find the reading materials for a given week. It makes it easy to organize them. And students really do find that it's much easier to keep track of things. So how do I create one of those? Well, I want to create one here under topic two, organizing your Moodle content in my welcome to transitioning to online learning course. So I will go to add an activity or resource. You need to be in edit mode for this. And I will click on the book icon under resources. Once I click on that, I need to give this a name. So I'm going to call this organizing content in Moodle books. And you can give it a description. I'm going to hide that description from the home page. Now, I need to change some appearance settings on this. You can have your chapters organized by numbers. I prefer just to use indented. It's cleaner and neater looking. And again, I'm going to turn off activity, activity completion. And I'll hit save and display because I want to continue editing this. So my first chapter here is going to be on um, actually organizing, the basics of organizing. I'll just give this uh, that particular name. Now, I want to add some content in here. And... I have a video ready to, uh, to do that with. It's a video that I just created on keeping Moodle tidy. So I'm just going to grab the URL for that video and I'm going to paste it into my content page here. I'm going to link this content. And when I hit save, my YouTube video is going to appear for me. Now I want to add another page to my Moodle book. So I am going to click on the plus sign over here under my table of contents. And I'm going to call this page creating a Moodle book. And I'm going to embed a video here. I'm going to actually embed this video that we're creating right now. And this is going to be a sub chapter of the first page here, the first chapter. And I'm going to add one more to this, which I will create a video for shortly. And that is creating a weekly checklist in Moodle. And again, I am going to put the video in this placeholder space here. So now I'm going to hit save on my changes. I have my content pages, my sub chapters here. If I go back to my course homepage in Moodle, you can see my Moodle book is here. I'm going to actually move that where I want it. So all of my readings, my resources for the week are in here. It doesn't need to be just YouTube videos. You can add text content. You can add images to the pages the same way that you would with authoring any straight HTML page. It just keeps it nice and neat and tidy for your students.